Bye. The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer. And this is some uh, TF2 gameplay that I got. It's a streak video from um, a good while back, actually. It's about, uh, I'd say, two months, actually. So, um, you'll have to bear with me. This is also before I started using the uh, Tomislav minigun. So, this is just your standard one, the default one that you get when you buy the game. Or now, just download the game, since it's free. So, um, yeah. And I, uh, <laughs> I just realized that I, uh, I haven't thought of uh, thought out what I was gonna say in this commentary. I guess I just started it, and now I'm just gonna have to finish it. I guess. <laughs> well, um, I could say that uh, I don't have any more Alpha Protocol videos <laughs> stacked up. So the last one that you saw, which was titled. Do I have to put Alpha Protocol in every title? Um, that was the last one that I had stacked up. I kind of got on um, a spree, I guess, and uh, made a lot of Alpha Protocol videos. And uh, I was playing the game a lot, and I'm still actually playing it, but I had kind of a break because I was playing a bit of um, multiplayer titles instead of just single-player ones. And um, there was a short break there where I, um, where I did... Ooh. Sorry, uh, where I didn't play Alpha Protocol, which was okay, which uh, which just made it that more fun to actually go back to that game and um, appreciate it because I don't know, man, I don't know why people hate it so much. I think just an awesome, it's just an awesome game. I realize that there's some problems with it, but it's not it's not something that they couldn't have fixed in a sequel. I don't think that the game is fundamentally broken, it's only minor things that we kind of look past in a lot of other games, so it's too bad because it's probably one of the few games that Obsidian really could have done well with. I mean, Obsidian is the developer behind Alpha Protocol and they're kind of notorious for being a developer that hasn't put out a really good game for some reason still stays in business. I mean, they did um, Fallout New Vegas, which was riddled with bugs, um, and it was a sequel, of course, to the one that Bethesda did. They did Coder 2, Knights of the Old Republic 2, which wasn't as good as the first one, as everyone knows, and um, well, it, it wasn't, while it wasn't riddled with bugs, there was a, you know, a few, amount of, a few bugs in there, and um, you know, it wasn't as good as the first one by Bioware, so it's kind of their legacy to do follow-ups or or um, sequels uh, that doesn't do as well and that isn't that good. So um, I don't know. Kind of sad because Alpha Protocol was, I think it was their first original IP. It was their first attempt at doing something completely on their own and it failed so it's too bad you know well anyways um other than that i haven't actually played for team fortress 2 in a while now i realize and um you know team fortress 2 is a game that i you know kind of have a love hate relationship to without the hate <laughs> I just uh, I just play this game, stop play this game, go back to playing this game, and kind of go back and forth like that. Um, and um, I don't know. I I uh, I, uh, I tend to to enjoy this game in small bursts, and it's not really my kind of game. Although I enjoy a good skill based shooter, uh, I guess that uh, it doesn't. It takes it takes too many shots to actually kill a person um, to actually to me for me to enjoy it. Or, yeah, I just I just um, I just woke up. Uh, <laughs> uh, as I was saying, um, I think it takes too many kills to too many shots to kill a person 
for me to enjoy it in the long run because one of the things that I really don't like don't like about Call of Duty is that you die so quickly and some thing that I like about the Battlefield Bad Company 2 game is that you kind of have to put a um, effort into killing someone while in Team Fortress 2 you really have to you know use your skills and really put a lot of shots on target to actually be able to kill someone and it, that means that if you're really really good at this game you will dominate because if you are good at aiming and making your shots connect to the target that means that you are going to win a lot of gunfights because of the lesser players will not be able to do as much damage to you as you to them well that's it for the video though I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Stackis.